This is a video I made for all the guitar tone nerds out there. So I'm going to be demonstrating the significance that the distance between the pickup and the bridge makes in the sound of guitar. I recently uh, built this conversion of a bass to a six string baritone guitar. And <clears throat> when I was routing for the humbucker space, I decided to route a little extra space so I could experiment with various distances uh, from the bridge. And I previously owned an Ibanez M80M eight string guitar, which has its humbucker placed pretty close to the bridge. I've noticed that people tend to focus more on the brand and the model of the pickup and the distance to the bridge seems to almost be an afterthought. I know it was for me until I owned an M80M and I noticed that that pickup was fairly close to the bridge. So one pickup might sound one way in one guitar, but different in a different guitar. And I think that the pickup distance could potentially be playing a role in that. Um, since I've not been able to find a whole lot of data or examples of the effect that this has, I decided to record audio of how this guitar sounds in three different positions. So position one is 23.53 millimeters from um, the bass side pull piece, which would be that top pull piece right there of the pickup, to the bass side saddle, which is the bass side saddle would be that one. Position two is 34.6 millimeters and position three is 40.25 millimeters. All right, so what you're gonna hear is you're going to hear each pickup position uh, played through a full mix with drums and bass. And um, I'm gonna be showing on the screen now the settings that I used for the amp sim, which is the Fortin Nameless Suite in this case. So you hear a full mix, and then after the full mix, you will hear the two left and right guitars isolated by themselves. And then you're going to be hearing an A, B, C comparison between the three positions kind of in rapid fire. So you can really sort of key in on the differences in the tone. I'm also going to be including the raw DI files from this uh, in the description of this video so that you can download the DIs and really listen to the nuances of the difference in the tone um, without any processing. It's just the raw DI, and you can even put it through your own um, settings or reamp it if you want to, whatever you want to do with that.
All right, guys. So uh, if you made it this far, clearly you have watched the whole video. So thank you for doing that. And also, if you've got any questions, um, feel free to drop a comment or something. Um, ask me whatever you need to ask me. And um, if you are curious about the bass to guitar conversion, um, also, you can feel free to ask me anything about that. I really enjoyed doing that. And I probably will make some more... Um, video examples of how that sounds. Um, also, let me know which bridge position you liked the most as far as distance to the, uh, to the bridge. Um, personally, I ended up going with 23.53 millimeters, so very close to the bridge. Um, and that was the tone that I liked the most. Um, but let me know what you guys think about those, those various positions. And um, catch you next time.